hi folks welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to show you one of the most popular and easy fractal flame to create called the Julian ring such as this one okay let's get started first we create a new world and add a new iterator then we add a new transform for the first iterator we add the Julian and set the power to a thousand and distance minus one then we add the second iterator add a new transform and for this transform we are going to add the ring to transform set the value to one and still nothing interesting happening we change the weight to 10 to make things more interesting we need to move the second iterator the ring to iterator just by a little in this case, I move it just by 0 0.0 to the right and 0 0.0 up. As you can see, we have our base for the Julian ring fractal. We can play around with the second iterator until we get the shape we like. To make it more pronounced, we can increase the weight to increase the probability of the ring to transform to be rendered. We can increase the area between the ring by moving the second iterator away from the center point. We increase the space between the rings so that we can fill this empty space with a filler. To fill it, we add a new iterator and add a Julian transform. For this transform, we set the power to 100. And for the distance, if you leave it at 1, it will appear on the outer side of the ring. To make it appear inside of the ring, we change the distance to minus 1. Now, how if we change the power to a lower number? As you can see, it will fill the space even more from there on we can play with the color as usual we change the shader first and then change the palette do explore until you get the shape you like you can also change the one of the axis length of the second iterator to minus one and we then can change the brightness to make it more pop that's it for now i hope it was useful please like subscribe and ask me anything about fractals see you later